Hello everybody, great to see you amazing hackers back again today. I'm going to be showing you what CSRF is, cross site request forgery real quick. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to exploit it. So as you can see here we have a functionality to change our password. I'm going to change my password to test1 in here. Uh, and as you can see the password changed. Now I also have my burp proxy open and it will capture my requests. So as you can see the request was captured. I'm going to send this request to my repeater and I'm going to change the password to test2. Uh, this is my burp proxy repeater tab. I right clicked in my request and then I can open my engagement tools and generate a CSRF hawk. As you can see a new window opens. Now you have a few options. You can test it in browser, copy your HTML or just close it. I'm going to test it in browser. What this will do is open up a new pop-up. This window will allow you to copy the URL and now you can just return to the same uh, browser window you had open and paste that URL in the URL window. Next you will see a button uh, appear on your screen, submit request, so just click that. And then you'll land on the page and as you can see the password has been changed. Now we'll log out just to confirm that the password has actually changed. So I'm going to make the password visible for you guys. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have changed the name of course. So what I did was change the name there. I should have changed the type to text instead of the password. And as you can see, I typed in test2 as my password and I'm able to log in. So that was real quick how you did uh, cross-site request forgery. If you don't see your request uh, token in anywhere in your request, it's probably vulnerable. But beware, it can also occur in the cookie, it can occur somewhere in the fields, it can also occur somewhere in the body of the request. There are many different ways to uh, protect against cross-site request forgery. But if you don't see one anywhere, a cookie or a token, then it's probably safe to assume that the website will be vulnerable but for just to be sure of course you have to test it and generate a pod. So now you know how to do that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If this video added any value to your life please leave a like. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like my content and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye!